and I am back. Now, I've got the car for one more night. So I've got this last night, or actually I should say tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon to get the car complete. Everything in, all rocking, all loud, ready to roll. Now I'm in a bit of a, of a predicament because I've got two lots of speakers which I'm in two frames of mind to you know, sway either way with it. So we'll see what I'm going to be up against. These are the two options that I've got. First one are the ones that I've already shown you, which was these these Philips um, XB100 um, 10 inch subs. Now I've got three of these things as well. So running off 150 watt RMS um, and bridge down to, or, or they'll all be running on a 1 ohm load or they'll be wired down to 1 ohm load I should say. Cosmetics, they're pretty, they're pretty funky. Um, they pack not bad, not bad bass notes. They can get loud um, and they're more, because of the size of basket they are, they're quite a tight sanding sub. Uh, they are actually a lot more accurate as opposed to the 12s, so that's why I favoured these. Um, now, we could go this, now with the brushed aluminium or xenon or whatever you want to call it, it's got a brushed silver coating around here, which will mean that it'll work well with the response, um, the response precision amps that I've got. So there's two lots of them. So cosmetics wise, these will pair up well and they're a bit more flexible with regards to trying to make these fit into a boot of a hatch so there's either that one or I could just cut to the chase forget anything about size whatsoever and settle for something like that now okay before anyone gets any crazy ideas this is an Axis 18 yes that is an 18 inch sub that there is the details of him, Axis Audio. That is the model number there. Now this thing's rated at 300 watt RMS, and it is a single four ohm load, or it's a single four ohm uh, voice call arrangement. Now that's that bad boy right there with the yellow cone. That's the 18, and that's the 10. Slight different size speakers to say the least so I'm torn in between two worlds because I could either go through those or one of them so <laughs> which one do I go for well only time will tell so I'll get that one sorted out hopefully by first thing tomorrow morning I'm gonna need to because if I don't get that sorted well then I'm gonna have no idea what to do with this boot I've got a rough idea but which way it could sway, well, it could go, it can go in any way. But it will sound good either way, I will say that much. Also managed to pick up some extra things for her car, and that is, to go back with the standard trim, I managed to source some black, some black carpet. So, there's about two metres of the stuff here. So that is plenty to dress up a boot with. She won't be running short of carpet. Now to go back with it, I was seeking on the outside of around the sub, like whichever one it is, if it's one of those or one of these, some carbon fibre film. Well, it's actually some carbon fibre vinyl, which you can pick these up from Autobahn. They're fairly cheap, but um, they can still do the job nice if installed properly. They can make an install, like just give it a bit of edge. Uh, now, that's enough to go over there. However, I was kind of, kind of a bit concerned because it just squeezes over the 18. Yes, it is a big sub. So, that's another factor that I've got to weigh into things. If I am to put the 18 into the boot, that'll mean that I've got to relocate the amps because they are just they're going to take up too much, well it's going to make it too too cluttered in the boot with an 18 in there so the only way that could work is if I have the amps under the seats which will mean wiring relocated um, and a few other well interesting other things that I'll have to do in order to make the the arrangement work otherwise I could leave everything into the boot where it is and use the 310s the 310s will give it a tight base and it will get loud if she wants it to. 
the 18 is just going to be outright loud. Now, she does want to crank up the volume and be heard a block away, but she also wants to make it sound nice. Every person's dream with the stereo is to have it sounding good and being loud at the same time. So to draw a fine line, well, I've got till tonight to get it all sorted. So, wish me luck. And, oh yeah, I forgot the other goodies. Because she's such a good friend of mine, I'm going to hook her up right now whilst I've got the chance with some sand dead enough. I've got four packages of the stuff. I'm not going to use all four on it. But, this stuff here is uh, very hard to get in Australia at the moment. Okay. It is not Dynamat Extreme. So. Okay. It is called Damplifier Pro. Now, this is. Very, very thick. And this has. This has a kind of effect that you want on the guards with regards to any stereo setup. Any flex that that or those will produce, this will help. So I might hook her up with a few sheets of this whilst I've got her boot exposed and even her doors. I've got enough packs there to, to cater for that. So that's the kind of friend that I am. It is extra work, but if I can get started early on it, should be able to get it done. Otherwise, if not, we'll leave that for another install date when you do slight other upgrades. Alright, I'm going to go get some rest because tomorrow is a big, big day. And I've got till 3, 4 o'clock at the latest to get this thing done. Will I do it? God knows. So, wish me luck.